All right, now question number five is this particular resistive circuit and we need to calculate the value of current through R equals to 2 ohm. In other words, we need to calculate the current through this resistance. If you observe carefully, this is a redundant branch because it gives you a balance with stone. And finally, the circuit would be in this way. This is 6.5. This is 2 and now these 2 are in series and parallel with this. So 2 and 1, 3, 4 and 2, 6 and the parallel of 3 and 6 would be 2. And here comes 10, this is 12, this is 4. Again you get another balance with stone where this by this is this by this. So this can again be eliminated. Now it comes out to be a very simple circuit where these two resistance in series are in parallel with this group and eventually in series with this. You go with an easy calculation, you would get the current to be 1 ampere. So the answer for question number 5 would be 1. Question number 6 is again from modern physics from the topic atom. An electron in an excited state of lithium 2 plus has angular momentum 3h by 2 pi. So this quite obviously has to be n because n h by 2 pi is the angular momentum. And the de Broglie wavelength of this particular orbit is p pi a naught where a naught is the Bohr's radius. We need to calculate p. We know that 2 pi r would be equals to n lambda and lambda is equal to 2 pi r by 3 where r is the radius of third orbit of lithium. So that would be a naught n square so that will be 3 square by z and z again is 3. So this now comes out to be 2 pi a naught and on comparison we would get the value of p as 2 and 2 would be the correct integer corresponding to question number 6. Question number 7 is from gravitation. There is a uniform solid sphere of mass m and there are two point masses connected by a massless rod of length L and it says at R equals to 3 L for this specific distance the tension is 0 for this relation and we need to calculate M. Now let us see small m would be exerted upon by the force F1 and this force F2 where F1 would be G M M by R square and F2 would be G M square by L square. Small m would be exerted by a force F3. F3 is between M and small m you may write. G capital M small m by R plus L whole square. And small m would also be getting a force due to this and that would be written as F2 itself because F2 is the mutual attraction between M and M. And now if the tension has to be 0 quite obviously the force on this side has to be equals to force on this side. In other words F1 minus F2 has to be equals to F3 plus F2. Now you put the condition and eventually you land up with the value of K as 7. So this is quite a straightforward question. So therefore for question number 7, the correct option for integer would be 7. Question number 8 is from error analysis. It says the energy of a system is given by E is A square e raised to the power minus alpha t, where alpha is a constant 0 0.2. The measurement of A has an error of 1.25%. So dA by A is 1.25%. Error in T, dT by T is 
1.50 percent and we need to calculate percentage error in E that is the energy at t equals to 5. Well, it is an exponential function and that too in the product. So, log would be the best option. Log E would be 2 log A plus log of this would be minus of alpha times t. Now, taking derivative 1 by E d E would be 2 d A by A alpha is constant. So, that will be minus of alpha and that quite obviously would be d t. Now, all I need to do is that I need to calculate the value of d e by e at t equals to 5. So, d a by a is given, alpha is given and d t can be calculated at t equals to 5. If I plug t as 5, I will get the value of d t at t equals to 5. Plugging all this value, this d e by e would come out to be 4 percent and the percentage error in E is required in integer between 0 to 9. So, 4 would be the correct option. So, 4 is the answer for question number 8. With this, we end up section 1. Now, we will move to section 2.